Hello, people of the internet. Welcome back. Um, we will count this as day four of the uh, of Spooktober: The Return, but I am going to do a little extra recording today. Um, the older laptop still can play this stuff, and it still can use my headset. So we're going to take advantage of that and try to get Chapter Three done in two episodes. Let's see what happens. So uh, last episode we finished off uh, Chapter Two, and we did the prologue. But now, we're going to go fresh with Chapter 3, which I believe... Let me see here. I'm not sure what the Four Dino thing is, but uh, we're going to confirm. I, I, I feel like there should be a prologue for this one. I could be wrong, though. But this is the longest one by far. And this is the, the incident... What happened to um, that possessed girl, it, this is the day that it happened. I don't need to tell you that this is top secret, yes sir. Based on what I saw during my previous visits, we could be in for a very long night. Is this your first exorcism? Yes sir. Are you afraid? I don't know, sir. That's father to you. I'll give you a word of advice. Follow my instructions with exactness. Don't trust what you may see or hear. Okay, uh, the reason I had to read that is because uh, for the game, because they're in the car, they're muffled. So that's why, yeah, you can really understand it. It, it's acting like you're hearing it from the outside. Okay, so... Yes, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Martin. And... This is my assistant, Father Ward, which is me. Shall we begin? Okay. I can't use my cross. I can't talk to the Martins. I f I feel like this is muffled because it's like a dream or something. If you say so. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to find her. Or wait for the father. I should... No, I guess he's following me. Ah, oh, there she is. Hi, Ashley. Or is it Amy? Amy, I'm sorry. Yeah, Amy Martin. It's been a little while. Hey, Amy. You don't have a hole for a face. Okay, that's creepy. That is super. Okay, there we go. Okay, please, enough of the muffled. Let's see if we can actually hear them properly. I hope it's not my sound settings. But three days until the profane Sabbath. Uh, I believe at the end of chapter two we heard about that. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malphus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. Father Garcia. Okay. So this is my house again. The music is very dramatic. Actually, I'm gonna... Turn that down just a little bit. Let me guess. Okay, but at least I sound normal. Alright. John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that after what happened last year, they went to live with relatives. I'll try to find our, what I can. Meanwhile, I'll go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. 
We must find the place where they intend to summon Malthus and disrupt their plans. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. Let's go to the back end before we head out. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you can try remembering what you know to be true. Press escape. Okay, they always say that for about the notes. Can't go out the back door. What's in our basement? Eh, not really. Just a washing machine. Okay. So this one is actually interesting because it's a multi-day affair and we're, we're, we're going to a few locations that are a little different than normal. So we're going to go to the clinic first, which I believe is the clinic that Amy works at. And as you can see, I can go in the car, but I'm going to approach these houses first because I don't know anything about this, but I heard... Yeah, I heard you could just see things in the window and it kind of tells you how the days are going. Like, that's just a kid watching TV. So what about my other neighbor? Let's see what they're up to. And, um, yeah, this, this, I'm gonna, considering how long Chapter 3 is, I think I'm gonna do two one-hour episodes, maybe a third one, we'll have to see. But don't worry, guys, I've been hearing your suggestions and stuff like that, so we'll, we'll see, um, family just together chilling out. I'll, I'll see what we can do about the new Poofs game. I haven't looked at it yet, but I want, I'm waiting for my new headset before I do anything other than the Faiths. Which I should definitely get tomorrow, so we should be okay. We're gonna leave. <laughs> and here we are. There's a cop in front of the clinic, so that's concerning. Oh, there's a rat on the side. And that truck that killed the kid, uh, who was possessed. What's this? That's a dead bird. I will pray for it, so... Mm, any more this direction? You can go way further than I thought you can. <laughs> I just noticed in the balls. The Superman S, doggo, in the balls. Okay, now it's just repeating. Alright. Let's see the other side before we continue. Because I'm pretty sure the other side is where I'm going to have to sneak anyway. Yeah, because the cop does not want me to come in. That was a cultist. They had a red face. Um, Kawabana? See? Red face cultist in the balls. Oh, well, let's see what we got here. Beazel Fest, of course. Beals the Fest, I mean. Calling all metal fans, uh, Beals the Fest, uh, 1987 rocks the hell out of Hartford. Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Featuring appearances by When All Is Said and Done, Trust No Corpse, The Horror Is Dead, Basement 2, Return to Bondage, Among the Bloodied, Lying Still in Silence, Mother of Shadow, and The Door to Afterbirth. Advanced Sales, whatever. So, okay. They're just building lore of the world, then. I must follow the trail of piss. Let's see. You feel watched. Oh, gee whiz, I wonder why. Okay, I just came in through a window, so that's concerning. Facts to Rhonda Erickson from Gary Miller. Uh, hi, Rhonda. Just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your dust tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with their healthcare experience. Remember, our sales points. Clean, quick, courteous. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. Please do call me uh, on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from uh, Mrs. Martin. Oh, crap. I, I, I just spilled a whole bunch of water all over the floor. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, one more thing. Keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you. And end of facts. Thank goodness that was a water because, oh my god, it's everywhere. I'm going to just 
Luckily, I have a towel on hand. Why do I have a towel on hand? Because I already spilt my drink earlier today. Ugh. Don't mind the sounds of me moving things. I'm just making sure I don't get things wet. All right. So Gary loves us, huh? And what are we going to find here? This is a clinic, which is concerning because uh, we know uh, with religious groups and uh, clinics... We can think of one specific kind that uh, could have some issues. Ooh. Didn't expect to get that from all the way over there. Note to self, pills do not dissolve in IV drip well. Too weak. Patients wake up before the process is complete. Sooner or later, they will realize they're having the same hallucinations. Suggest concentrated injectable version. So, they're drugging people. I wonder with what. Hey, sonogram. Okay. Little weirder? That That's just devil creature. Experiments were done in the clinic, perhaps? I mean, Gary does Board's love us. Yep. Boards over the door. What else do we have? I don't like that there's just a single pink chair over there. And I don't like that it's gone quiet either. I'm gonna grab that crowbar before anything happens. Mmm. I wouldn't say someone dropped that. I think that's just natural in places like this to have crowbars. Why is there just a seat in the corner like they were bad? This is a woman's health clinic. Why is there just something there? Chair there looking like, I've been a bad person. I need to look this way. Oh! That... That was mean. Okay. I thought I died. I guess I'm wrong. Oh, no. Never mind. I, I, I am on the gurney now. Uh, where am I? I am stuck on the gurney. I need to hide. Does this count? No. No, it does not. How are you supposed to hide then? Is here good enough? I need to hide. Uh, don't say that out loud. How about that, buddy? Okay, is it like a set pattern? Damn. Okay, I was I was trying to sneak out More underneath. Days. Okay. What if I can Let's see how we can do this. I need to hide. Yes, I do. No, I don't want to do it quite yet. Because see, then he looks that way. Uh, okay. How then? Do I just wait there? I'm just gonna wait there then. I need to hide. Stop saying that out loud, dude. We are trying to hide, which means stop yelling that you need to hide, hmm? Just a suggestion, but maybe stop announcing that. Okay. Hmm. 
now he's going over there. Or maybe I can leave. Yeah, okay, I, I can just leave. I think I need to head for the door. I need to hide. No duh. We'll hide amongst these. It seems to be easily distracted by these horribly mutilated bodies. Okay. But how... It's not like I can go up the stairs. Or will this just like... Is this... I don't know if this is up or down. You think it's up. Oh, okay. Hi, cop. What the hell is going on here? I'm being... You're okay. That's fine. Get me off of the gurney. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. Don't worry about the demon. It is a demon. It is a demon of Satan. Okay. Let's go, officer. You like demons? Ugh. Hey, I need to back up away a little bit. Hey, hey officer, you gonna shoot? Not me! <laughs> I didn't get shot, by the way. I just got bad. Yeah, I got a bad situation, basically. It is a demon. Okay, so I'm gonna be attacked again, but I know... Well, I mean, that's fine. I can... Yeah, there we go. Then what? This one? If I had a guess? Oh, this thing's just stupid. By the power of Jesus. Hey, cop, you, you gonna shoot the thing? Is that it? Nope. It's looking more and more messed up, though. There we go. Yep. Thank you, officer. We've just killed evil. Now your car's on fire. Oh, they just flat out murdered him. Well, that's fun. Uh, how many days from retirement were you, sir? Oh, that's a shame. Rest in peace and whatnot. Uh, let's continue on, though, and ignore the fact that this man was just brutally slain. Because, um, at this point, you could just leave. But I do know how to get the true ending. Um, I wasn't necessarily looking it up, but I've seen some interesting videos. I watched something from, uh, Wendigoon, who's a really good YouTuber with stuff like this, with the nice little horror things and, like, exploring them. And, uh, yeah, to get the true ending, I want to go back in, uh, because there is a, s there's another spot that you can find, 
But you wouldn't quite know it unless, well, get back on the gurney, I believe. At least that, I believe that's what they said. Get back on the gurney. Or maybe I need to go in the door first. No. Let me go up then. There is something in here. My controller is going nuts. That is concerning. Nothing's reacting though. Which makes it even worse because, yeah, things are going nuts, but what the hell? Why is this room so evil? And now my controller's fine. So how... How do I get back on this gurney? There you go. Okay, the vibration in there makes me feel like I need to go back in because... Yes, yeah, some, something was up with that room. Like, you couldn't tell, but it just wouldn't stop vibrating. And it's going crazier the closer I get to the spot I was in. Like, can you hear that? Come on. Hmm, anything gonna happen? I mean, it's going nuts, but... I don't think this is how I get through the door, though. What else could it be? Yeah, it immediately stops. But I don't notice... Um, let me see here. No. Uh, will you just let me in this way then? No. I was told I was going to be retrieved. But I'm not sure how to make that happen. Hmm. What about here? One second, guys. I'm going to figure this out real quick. Okay, sorry. I had to look it up a little bit to just see what made this activate because, you know, very vague. So I'm going to just go up here and then kind of just wait for the door to open at least that's what it looked like come on I'm right here open for me there we go see there's no indicator on you know oh wait a minute Am I supposed to be, like, taken in? I I'm waiting to see what will happen. Because you I, I tried. You saw me. I can't get in that door. You gonna, you gonna come get me? I'm ready. I'm right by the door. I'm here for you. See, yeah, I can't force myself in. Can 
Was I missing something? Uh, right here, guys. You gonna you gonna come get me? Uh. Okay, I'm. Do I just? Okay, I didn't look at the whole guide. I literally just wanted to see what they did to make the door open. Can I just um, go put the gurney here and get off? No, that doesn't seem to be the situation. How do I, how do I make go? Video game, how do I make a go? Oh, there we go. I just didn't go in at the right angle, I guess. <coughs> hey, look! Uh, what am I thinking of? Um, Nightmare on Elm Street with a thing like that? Not creepy at all? Turning into puppet people? Oh, they just doing a silly dance. Or he's really high. It's hard to tell. <laughs> oh my god, that was perfectly stupid. Ah! If I've ever heard of terror, it's ah. Don't like that noise though. I I don't like that noise. Oh, the brimstone signal for, symbol from uh, Binding of Isaac. And like a bebe. And a human. I won't like the baby. No. No, I don't think I don't think Gary's normal. That 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 is a good response. little ones N no there's a dead cop outside oh no it's Satan Bubba let's just let's just purify the crap out of it no babies no demon babies that's that's horrifying considering what this clinic's supposed to be I mean where Amy was working upsetted the religious friends of uh, Amy's mom. So that could kind of tell you what kind of clinic this is. Like, it's a women's health clinic, but we all know what women's health clinics can be. So this is, ugh, this is a special kind of messed up. <laughs> Why am I fighting the Satan babies? All life's a sacred. So, well, no, let me rephrase that. All baby lives are sacred. So why, why are they demon? <laughs> what did you do to make the babies evil? I'm gonna go around the long way, purify you for a minute. Now I'm gonna purify the babies. Gotta send them to heaven. They need to go to heaven. There we go. This is, this is, oh no! Oh no, she's wearing baby armor! This, this, this creature does not need baby armor. I'm not the Punisher, you don't need to try to wear baby armor to defeat me. Oh great, are the babies combining? That's... That's much worse. No, 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 no. No. You cut that out, child of hell. Oh my god. This is... This is a boss fight! Oh god. 
No, no. So oh, god. Mortis. That's a little messed up. Can I do it from no. It's gotta be like this much at least. Gotta get as much as I can. Keep the babies from hell away from me as long as possible. Come on. No babies. Satan babies, they make your dreams come true. Away from me, devil! Okay, that's fine. That gives me enough time to do something. Okay, they're going after her now. That's fine. Okay, just gotta defeat the babies and make sure they don't combine into a hellish super baby. Cause that's what happened. One just decided, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn into a super demon. Come on. I don't like being chased by these. The red eye babies are the bad ones. Okay. Let, let me rephrase that. The glowing red-eyed babies are the bad ones. Like that one! Okay, there you go. Okay, okay, this is manageable. You just gotta focus on doing what you can, like, immediately. Okay, there you go. I'm removing them from her. Away, Satan babies. No. Ugh. Okay, that is rough. That is super rough. You can kind of get rid of them immediately if you're able to, like, get to them right away. But if they're able to turn into, like, that gangly leg freak, there's, there's really nothing you can do. Away from me! Okay, this should be able to do something. And then on this side, just try to get as many at the same time as possible. Away, tiny Satans! Nope. Get the red one. Thank you. Okay, so all the red ones are just connected to her. We gotta get her free so I can damage her, basically. I think that's how it's supposed to go. Yeah, go into my range of influence, baby. Oh, wait. Nope. The baby is on me. Okay, get over there before that baby can do anything. Thank you. It's fine. No, get over there. Get over there. Thank you. Oh, these babies can't actually really hurt me, I think. They're just kind of... Okay, thank you. Okay, the babies don't hurt. Thank God for that. Huh. Okay, so the babies grabbing onto you don't hurt. So we know that. Smooth moves, priest. But the twins are not here. Carry out the works of your God while it is yet day. For the night cometh. Remember, Gary loves you. I think that music tells me we're done. So yeah, that is that is the proper ending to day one at least. So that is a check off of getting the true ending. Thank God. I'm going to go up here and see if anything has appeared. No. Okay. But yeah, we are officially done with here because... Um, Every day there's a, a secret boss. Like, you don't necessarily have to find her, but these secret bosses are connected to the true ending. So you want to make sure you find them. 
But let us get out of here. I am done with this place. It is terrible. A cop was murdered in cold blood and I fought a bunch of babies. That car is still on fire. Beasel baby! Oh god. Alright. Not bad. That's, that's a good sign because if I'm already at day one and Barely 30 minutes. See, that disappearing is a sign I did good. But I've got 25 minutes. That's Amy. Hi, Amy. I don't have a cross. Yes. We got it. We got our exercise, though, the, the baby charm. Let's keep going. Amen. Come on, let's get out. Guys, come on. I know it's much, but like this is an exorcism. You wanted this. We're we're trying to get the evil out of her heart, so stop getting in the way. Demons like feeding off of negative emotion and you're probably freaking out. What about you? You have anything? Yes, pray for Amy. Okay, let's do this. We must stop Amy's evil, even though we know how this ends. Oh god. Father, are you alright? No, he is not. We got my power up! It's dangerous to go on, take this! This is how I get the power of the Lord in my soul. I can't do anything. Okay, there you go. Ah, a little PTSD, eh? Two days until the profane Sabbath, October 29th. So, of course, the profane Sabbath is Halloween. Why wouldn't it be? Let me guess, I'm not going in there? I'm not going in there. John, for now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 665 Orange Street, apartment 5A, New Haven, uh, Connecticut, uh, 06511. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. John, there's an apartment building in New Haven where they may be attempting to summon Amalfas. I'm not able to go there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. T Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave. Lisa. So, um... We got an important person. But it's not... It's not like a someone I love or... Well, I guess it is someone I love, but it's not like... Uh, I did have, like, a wife or a girlfriend. They're the ones who left the letter and s who left us. Uh, this person is important to John, though. Lisa is important to John. I'm not going to explain why. But um, let us see how things are going. 
same thing as before. We get to just go in our car and leave. But before we do that, I just want to check in on the neighborinos. Uh... Oh, professional wrestling. Okay. I was trying to visualize what that was. I, I, I thought that was boxing. But this is the 80s. I could see it being wrestling. And what do we have on this side? Kid watching wrestling. Alright. Everyone's watching wrestling today. Let's us go. We're going to the apartment complex. This one is going to be long. So let's see how far we can get in 20 minutes. Okay. Is this purple any special? No. Okay. Among the damned. Okay, so we got an elevator. I'm not going to go that way yet. Graham. Mm. I'm guessing L. Mitchell was... Well, it could be Shadwick. Or Pearson. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, Mr. Ward, I'm so sorry to have worried you. I'm perfectly fine. Okay, I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better. Now, please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the country so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. Yeah, you should check it. Like, um, how that's clearly a freaking lie. I don't know if you're getting my letters. They're not letting me leave. Okay, so she's 5A. L. Pearson, okay. I'm assuming this is a basement. I probably don't want to go here yet, but... Uh, this is a dumb idea, isn't it? Oh no. Let's get out of that. That noise is not a good noise. That noise is an incoming death. So, basement's bad. My, uh, my friend Lisa is on 5A. Or 5B, whatever it was. Let's see what's on this side. Nothing. 1B. No one answering. What is this? I hope it's a drawing. I think it's a drawing, because that looks like a creepy dead cat. Oh, is this like going upstairs? Is this how they do stairs? Yeah, that's how they're doing stairs. Okay. I guess I'm going to go this way, because I'm already on the path. Okay. Okay, so that's how that works. Second floor. Mostly because I want to go through the, um... I want to go through the floors one by one to see what's up. Because we're going to need to find notes and clues. Because if I remember, this is a really big place. Oh, I can just go in here. Blood in this house, which is a good sign. Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven blank by passing them through the fan carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the blank with the second death. Such was the fate of that of the ho that whore Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. That's not concerning. That looks like a sigh. 
Why is that taking so long to exercise? Can I not exercise that? Oh, that's a ritual dagger. Okay, I can't exercise that because that is evil. That is true evil. So. I'm going to just leave that be. We're going to the next floor, folks. All the mirrors are being broken. This droning ambiance is a little concerning. Some hiding behind that plant? Oh no, I guess they're just cigarette butts. Alright, what's in here? Hmm. Just a thought. This is probably evil. This is probably evil. This key is probably evil. Okay, I thought so, because at least, uh, with... Don't do that to me. With keys, there's you can tend to see the yellow locks, so... Interesting noises are happening now. Is it because I'm getting higher up in this building? The evil is mounting. Broken mirrors. Hmm. And there's ten floors of this, so I'm wondering, is this all about the build-up, or should I really just take the elevator? <laughs> I am keeping my fingers on the buttons, though, because I don't know when a cultist will just run at me and try to murder the hell out of me. Oh, gee whiz, I wonder what's going on here. That's concerning. Yeah, I can't get through there. Ritual knife in person. Don't like that noise. Spooky. If you wish to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in the bloodstained knife and the face hidden in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Ah, uh, where did I find that knife? Was it... Like... Two? I want to say it's 2A. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Beware, if you have a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. Uh, let's start with the second floor. Okay. I don't like that candles are here now. Great, it's bloody now, too. Okay, that broke a piece of the seal then. Thank goodness. I was wondering if I had to take it or not. Okay, so that was a piece of it. Now we're going to go back up to the fifth floor, because why not? I know we have to go to, like, the way they make it sound, we have to go to the uh, tenth floor, but I'm still going to walk up that way just in case. feeling one moment that elevator door is going to open and there's just going to be something horrifying on the other side of it. I'm getting that sneaking suspicion every time I go up that elevator because something about it makes the tension go up to me. Oh, this is a good sign. This is a great sign. 
The walls melting? What the hell? The walls are melting. Are these the rules to the game? Ah! It's the elevator, friend. Uh. Let's just stay on the sixth floor, why not? Oh, you can't go to the seventh floor. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the sixth floor because I wasn't sure how to exit that. Okay, I hope not to see elevator friend, if you don't mind. But that is a concern. Also, why can't we go to the seventh floor? That is another concern. More broken mirrors, nothing out of the usual. Wait! So I finally have my own place in the city. No more annoying roommates. I have a whole apartment all to myself. The building's nice. It seems new. Neighbors are kind of weird, though. They're always coming around bringing food and stuff. It's actually making me a little sick. Another thing in the, is the mirrors. They're everywhere in the halls. It's nice because I can look around the corners, which makes me feel safe. But it's still weird. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but when I look at myself in those mirrors, I feel it's like, like not me in the reflection. Of course, when I came home from work today, the elevator didn't work, so I had to take the weird one-way stairs all the way up to the sixth floor. Then I noticed all the mirrors were shattered. Okay. Okay, you can't... There is no seventh floor. No, there's a seventh floor, I'm sure. It's just we can't access it. So I do have to use the elevator to go to the eighth floor. Which means uh, hopefully we don't have to see elevator friend. I would like to not have to see him. Okay, so... Yeah, the stairs would come from this side, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna check this way first. Let's see if there is no seventh floor. Oh no, that goes up to the 8th floor. I mean the ninth floor, but it should be... I thought it would be going down from there. It's weird nothing has really tried to kill me yet. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Remember, Gary loves you. Hmm. Oh, before I go ninth floor, let's see what's over this way then. I'm expecting elevator friend to run out of the elevator and attack me. Those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be visited by the one who guards them. And there is, there is a seventh floor. <sighs> you know what's a forbidden door? Seventh floor. I'm, I'm sure we're all curious here. I don't like this. I don't like how dark it's getting. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I saw elevator friend. I don't want to see elevator friend. Every time I pushed that button, my heart was going, no, no, what are you doing? No, there's demons in here. Ay vey. Okay, nothing in this one. Well, at least by an hour we'll check this whole damn building, but jeez, it's taken a long time just to explore this place. Uh, 
Oh no, it's Halloween! Williams Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family Annual Halloween Block Party. It'll be held on Halloween starting at 5 p.m. in the apartment 9B. Activities will be start promptly, so please do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family, aka those who receive this newsletter, are invited. Also, just a reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all the overly scary costumes and masks at home. Timmy is still traumatized after last year's incident. Also, I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. Also, we do not want a repeat of last year with the power going out, so please bring treats, but no tricks. And just another friendly reminder that an anti that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed in the apartment. Also, please be aware that Timmy's diet and food allergies, and please uh, be aware that he suffers from asthma, so please do not try to sneak up on him or try to scare him again. He still has trouble after what happened last year. You will also notice that he has a new imaginary friend. When you see him, please just roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him to have such a coping mechanism. See you all at the party. Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Miller, who has taken to Timmy so well that he's become like a part of the family. Debbie. Uh, I know who Timmy's friend is. I don't like Timmy's friend, but I know who he is. I just met him. Oh! moment I decided to take my hand off the controller. Isn't that lovely? <sighs> I see you. You think I don't see you? I see you. I don't know if you think I'm blind. <laughs> yeah, I can see you, dude. What is M supposed to be? Oop. Sacrifice what you cling to. I don't like that. Basement dumbwaiter, how to use? Pull up the ha uh, on the handle to open hatch. Place item to, uh, or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down and handle and close the hatch. Please press a button, send a dumbwaiter to the basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice is not jostled around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I'm tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Well, I know how I'm going to end this episode. I think we all know what I'm going to do. Let's give up our cross. <sighs> and now it begins. But I think we're going to call it here for right now. Thank you all for joining me today for uh, day uh, fourth of uh, Spooktober The Return. Obviously, it's not the fourth day, but we're going to treat it as it is. We're going to not worry about the technical issues we've been having. But I hope you're enjoying Faith Chapter 3. And if you guys are enjoying it or you have any spooky ideas for later this month, please, as always, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to reach 100, but we'll see what happens. But thank you all for joining me today. You guys have a good evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. I'll see you all next time, and you have a good one for now. Bye, guys.